Now we're gonna talk about a really important part of using this product in the clinic and making it specific for your patients, which is called thermoforming. What does that mean? Heating the, heating the orthotic up, and as I mentioned before, then the foot, right, is going to mold, or the orthotic is gonna to mold to the foot, right? And how we do that is really simple. We take the shoe, and uh, you always wanna remove the inner sole of this. Now, Formthotics has a really special unit here, which you can see, which is a heating unit. Three minutes, it heats it up to a comfortable temperature. My patients love it when they say, oh, it feels so nice and warm. Uh, unfortunately, that goes away <laughs> after the first time, but it, it is uh, really important to have that heating element. We put it right on the heater, and you turn it on, and now you can see uh, that blue light is around the red. Three minutes, you can uh, walk away. It's done in three minutes. It's heated, and now the patient Unlike most other orthotics, I want my patients to get in these and walk around for a couple of hours as the orthotic, now because it's softer and it's heated, will start molding to that patient's foot. Now, if I decide to put corrections in there, I'll do that first before I put it in this heating device or on this heating device so that I get the uh, product nice and soft, right? But I generally don't, and not unless I really am I'm sure I want to add a post material to it. Otherwise, what's nice about this is that I can do a basic support with just the orthotic alone, and then when the person comes back a week later and they're saying to me, well, you know, Bob, I feel about 50% better, not quite all the way, I can add a rear foot post, I can add a four foot post, I can make changes in the bottom of the orthotic to, again, try to control the amount of pronation to the point where that get 100% relief of their symptoms. And once I add those things to the bottom of the orthotic, well then I obviously have to remold the orthotic to a new foot position, and that's one of the best things about this. It's the only, I think, orthotic on the market that you can reheat several times. I can make adjustments. I can add more support. I can take away support. And when I do that, the second visit, I reheat them, right? So again, it is truly the custom way to make an orthotic. Now, what if you don't have this heater or did, don't have that? You could use a hairdryer, which I used for a number of years before they actually came out with this for orthotics. The hairdryer, you just stick inside the shoe with the orthotic and you just leave it on for maybe a minute till it's soft to touch, and then they're ready to wear. Uh, you know, what if you don't heat? That's another possibility. You just, you just don't have any method of heating the orthotics. You know what? I have used those orthotics in my shoes, and just the heat of your body starts to mold the orthotic to your foot. So this thermal forming is, is such a unique concept with this product that I, that I can't get any place else. One of the dangers of heating this form thotic up is using the wrong equipment for heating. The form thotic device, the heater that they have, is the easiest, obviously. You stick the uh, shoes in or on top of the heater with your form thotics inside. It heats it to a perfect temperature. It, the timer goes off after three minutes. You could walk away from it. You'd be fine if you came back in five minutes. They'd be ready for the patient to put on. If you use a hair dryer, again, you use the hairdryer, you put it inside the shoe. You don't have to put it on the orthotic, just heating up the shoe, basically. Or you can hold it on the orthotic and move it around a little bit, but you don't want to just put it in the shoe and leave and come back in five minutes. You might have the shoe melting by the time you came back, especially if it's on a high setting. The last product I've had some physical therapists say they tried to use was a heat gun. Now, heat guns are way too hot. One therapist actually said they melted the tip of the shoe <laughs> with the heat gun and they were standing right there, they didn't even walk away. So you need to be careful as to what heating device you use to heat up the form thotics to get them to that right temperature so they can step on them and they can mold to the foot. Now see that, it's three minutes is done. I take it off, it's nice and, nice and warm and uh, softens up the orthotic and now the patient's ready to put these on and I want them to wear that again for several hours that day 
to get a nice form fit to their, to their foot. So heating is important. If you, if you don't heat it, it, I still have used it without heating. It takes a little bit longer because then you're going to have them wear it for the whole week, let it mold to the foot. They come back and um, they're not quite uh, you know, ready maybe to add some support to it because I need to add support and then heat it up again. I would really, it's really important, I think, to, to have some sort of heating mechanism.